clear as possible for as many people that I can spell it out for as possible because I've seen a lot of videos um, over the course of this last week especially but especially the last two or three days uh, concerning black men and black women and the way they relate to each other and these videos are often shot from the perspective of an outsider that has very little knowledge of what goes on between the two of us. And I want to make this perfectly clear because I think a lot of these videos are shot just for likes. And this is going to be one of the only times I ever say this. But if you don't know what you're talking about, it's in your best interest to not talk about it. I mean, I've seen videos claiming everything from black women are overly obsessed with Asian culture to videos saying that all black men are secretly gay. I mean, and, and at some point it just comes to say, you know what? Look, the only problem with the black male and the black female is all of you, okay? Is all of you because you refuse to acknowledge the fact that 90% of black males are married to black females you refuse to acknowledge the fact that in actuality only about 5% of the black male population is gay you refuse to acknowledge and that's that's per other people's numbers not mine and you refuse to acknowledge the fact that even amongst the rich black men 80% of them, 80% of black men making six figures or more are married to a black woman. You refuse to acknowledge all of the healthy black relate, and I'm talking to black people now. I'm talking to everybody. Why are you refusing to acknowledge all the signs all around you showing black men and black women cohabitating and living together and getting married and producing families and being successful together? Why are you refusing to see all of those things? And instead, wanting to shine a spotlight on the few outliers that exist within black America and then using that spotlight to broadcast it across the entire spectrum. I study the black family. I'm a black man with a black family, married to a black woman, and I have three black children. There is no, you know, the problems that we're having largely stem from outside interference. But when everybody else gets in your business, you start having problems. You want to know what's wrong with black men and women? That's what's wrong with black men and women. All of you that are all up in our business without knowing what the deal is. You got uh, women that from uh, African women feeling like they can speak on things that they know nothing about. Could you move from your country into this country and you've been here two weeks and all of a sudden you're an expert on black woman psychology. You know, other men from other cultures watching a few music videos and, and reading a book written by somebody that wasn't a part of black America and all of a sudden you know exactly what's wrong with black males and black men's psychology. All of a sudden you're an expert at it. You know, all of a sudden you have a firm grasp or what's plaguing black America and black families and black, you know, black culture. All of a sudden, you can tell us better than we already know. Because in all, in all honesty, things are not that bad. They are getting there because of the involvement of all of you. And yes, we take blame where we take blame. And, and this isn't even a video to address where we take blame because we know where we take blame. We, quite frankly, we don't need you to tell us. Any black man that's a real black man worth a damn knows what he needs to be doing and how he needs to protect the queen of his house. And any black queen that's worth a damn that really is a black queen knows exactly what she needs to know and what she needs to do to protect her king and they both know how to come together when need be or when it's time to to protect the black princes and princesses 
So we don't need you guys adding salt to the Kool-Aid. You know, it's getting to the point now where I'm starting to wonder what a black person has done to all of you. Because you don't throw that kind of shade unless you've been burned. You don't hate that much unless somebody has poisoned you. This, this video was intended to tell you guys to mind your own damn business. Why don't you deal with the issues you have in your culture? Make a video about that. Make a video about uh, how white men have historically and have always through the end through the beginning of time as far back as you can research white men have always oppressed their women and they have always uh been at odds with their women why don't you talk about that nobody wants to talk about the great moral depression that predated the great depression when you had white men stumbling over themselves drunk falling into a drunk stupor raping their wives and beating their wives on a daily basis nobody wants to talk about that you've never in your history of existence in america ever heard of black men in bulk doing the types of things to black women that you have seen white men doing to white women but everybody wants to talk about what black men are doing to black women and what black women are doing to black men and everybody wants to talk about how evil black men are and, and how sick and sadistic black women are. Black Americans, almost to a fault, no, not almost, to a fault, want to be included so bad in the American dream. They want to be, even to this day, despite everything that's happened, black people in America want nothing more than to be accepted. All the way to the point where they'll allow other people to come in, interfere with what we have going on, and, and justify it some kind of way so that they can still deal with their life in a world that views them still as less than. If you're not a part of black culture, if you don't understand what has been done to black people in America, and we not talking about slavery because a lot of y'all don't even under a lot of y'all don't even know when slavery actually ended. Some of y'all think it, it happened in the 1860s because that's when the textbook said ended. Or you want to talk about the Emancipation Proclamation without even knowing what it is. Have never read source documentation on it. So for a lot of you guys, you won't even understand what black people are saying when we say we're oppressed because in your mind. Things have been equal from 1860 forward. You don't realize what was really going on in the 50s and 60s. Hell, you don't realize what was going on in the 70s and 80s. Much less do you realize what's going on in the 90s and the 2000s. So we don't expect you to want to honestly help us because if you were you would honestly look into the history of things your history included and maybe then you would have a different perspective that wouldn't be one of maliciousness all you're trying to do is get some likes and get famous off of talking about the hot topic the hot topic that's been the hot topic for the last 30 years move on From this black man, I love black women to death. Every black man I know loves black women to death. Talk about that. Talk about the 90% of black men that are married to black women. Talk about that. Talk about real black love. And talk about it without comparing it to white love. Because, because I love my wife has nothing to do with white people. And I'm sick and tired of that as well. So, you know what, if you want to talk about these things, at least do the research. Don't make a video and spit out a bunch of nonsense based on a bunch of half-ass research accusations and blatant lies and false accusations and misunderstandings of misunderstandings that were spoken from people that didn't understand that they were misunderstanding a misinterpretation of a misunderstanding that somebody else made. 
that wasn't a part of black culture. You ask a kid at six, who what he dreams to be? Guaranteed it ain't the same dream he has at 16. Sad to say he probably won't live to see 33. And if he does, he'll probably be locked up for 18. If you want to see more videos uh, from the 3 Minutes with Pat series, or click here if you want to see uh, some of the older coaching videos that, I, that I've been doing over the years.